So I have a very simple sermon for us this morning. We have begun the story of David um, to find out what it means to be of the lineage of David. This is a time when Israel is in crisis, and we are going to follow David as a leader in the midst of that crisis, pairing with these scriptures, the prayers um, from the Psalms that he prayed so that we can begin um, to look and see and wrestle with a biblical model of how we can follow Christ um, and follow God's vision um, for God's kingdom in the midst of some difficult things, whether that's something that is done to us or something that we have cost. But David's story begins with Samuel's story. And last week we talked about Hannah's prayer and the prayer that brought Samuel into life and the prayer that made it so that Samuel was in that temple and heard God speak. And here's the thing. God didn't speak to the priest. And we've got a lot in the house today. God spoke to the child. So as much as we are here to be the teachers, to be the mentors, to be the family that raises these children, that teaches them, right? When they don't understand what's happening, I, I came, right, you called me. Nope, not me, nope, not me, nope, not, oh. <laughs> this is God's voice. This is the sound of God's call in your life. And this is how we respond when that call comes. This is one of the most sacred gifts that we can give our children. This is one of the most sacred responsibilities that we have to care for them and to raise them up together. But it doesn't end there. Because the harder part of this story is being willing to listen to the word of God that comes through them, even when it's a hard word for us. The harder part of this story is that we are also called to be learners, and not just learners from one another in our own age group, but learners from the children as well. And so it means that we are called to listen to them almost as much as we want them to listen to us, right? It's modeling how we do relationship and how we do this faith journey. And if Eli, as a priest and as a leader, got nothing else right in terms of thinking Hannah was drunk when she was praying her soul out, in terms of letting his sons sin and abuse the power of the priesthood, he got this moment right. And in getting this moment right, opened up for an entire story for God to work through and be in and be a part of building a kingdom. So if we do nothing else in our life, May it be the time that we listen to the children and the truth that they bring. May it be the moment that we hear where we have sinned and where we have fallen short of the glory of God. And may we be the Eli who can look at Samuel and say, let the Lord do what seems good to him. Eli models for us how to realize and confront the gap that we have had in our own lives of where we have failed to be faithful to God's call. And when God raises up new leaders to follow after us, the best gift that we can give is owning where we need them to be because of where we have not been and to celebrate that they are willing to respond and to fill that gap and to not stand in their way or God's way to do so. There are beginnings and there are endings in every chapter. And the gracefulness that Eli models and witnesses to, and this is miraculous. 
It is a miracle the church doesn't often experience. But if we can learn from Scripture, if we can learn from our children learning and listening and hearing the voice of God, then we give God that much more room to work in us and through us and with us and less of having to work with in spite of us. And so this is the setting of the story that we are going to step into of how David responds to the crises that he lands himself in and that he causes. And this story begins in a child hearing God's call, in a teacher helping that child understand what was happening so that he could answer and be there for God, and in a teacher who is willing to take a step back to allow God to work through that child. And all of this begins at a time when the word of God was rare in those days. And I know from conversations that I've had with you, there are other people who feel that same rarity in what we are facing today. So may we listen, not only for God calling ourselves, but for what God has brought from in any unexpected place where it comes. Because this time, the word of God didn't come through the priest. It came through the child. So may we be ready to hear the word of God wherever it comes. Amen.